bunch of tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, November 4th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Sometimes the key to being a better student actually lies in your ability to actively seek out better teachers. And if I were Sergio Oliva Jr., I would be soaking up every lesson I could get from someone like Ruli Winkler who's probably forgotten more about bodybuilding than most people will ever hope to learn in a lifetime. Even though he hasn't competed this year, for all intents and purposes, Sergio is still in the prime of his career and probably hasn't hit his peak yet. Which means that these are actually the types of situations that he should be trying to take advantage of. So when he does come back, he's in better shape than he was before. And he's not stuck feeling like he's, well, treading water. The reason you want to learn from the right people is because they're the ones who already made all the mistakes, and they're the ones who can point you in the right direction. And if you can put your ego aside long enough to soak it all in, more often than not it works out for you in the long run. Listen, Halloween might be over, but if you can find a way to get your hands on a Robert Timms costume, now that everything is on discount, you should probably go ahead and scoop that up because this guy is starting to look like he's going to be the next level scary when he makes his return to the Classic Physique division next year. When you consider the fact that last year was arguably the best season of his competitive career, the decision to sit out all of 2022 did seem questionable at first because it felt like there was a path to keep that momentum going. But if you look at where he is now, it's hard to argue with the way things have gone up to this point. He's already shown that he knows how to make the most of an extended off-season period. And if we assume that he's going to keep this going all the way into the early part of next year, he could end up being a major factor in 2023. By now I'm sure everyone knows that Michael Crizzo earned his Olympia qualification at the ISBB Prague Pro last weekend, which was covered in full in our recap Wednesday yesterday which you should obviously go back and watch if you haven't seen yet. So now that we know for sure that we're going to be seeing Michael Crizzo on stage during the Olympia weekend, I think the real question on everyone's mind is, where is he going to land on the scorecards? While on one hand, it seemed pretty clear that he was in better shape in Prague than he was at the Amateur Olympia three weeks before, which is something that we all probably anticipated. But even with the improved look that he brought into the show in Prague, I think there were still a lot of lingering questions in people's minds about whether or not he's someone who deserves to be getting mentioned as a potential top 10 threat in this year's contest. That's a steep mountain to climb, and be damn sure it doesn't get any easier as you get closer to the top, which means there's always a possibility for someone to slip and fall in the placings. And even though we won't know which direction this will go until it's actually happening, at this point, I'm not sure if anyone would be surprised to see this turn out to be a boom or bust situation when it's all said and done. And before we close out the show today, we wanted to take a moment to wish a happy trails to 212 Olympian and longtime friend of the show, Rob Taylor, who announced a few days ago that he was officially pulling out of his prep for this year's Olympia weekend and possibly even heading into retirement from competitive bodybuilding altogether. He posted a series of short videos on his Instagram that went into detail about some of the health issues that he's been dealing with over the last few months that have impacted a lot of the things that he was trying to do both in and out of the gym. And after doing a little bit of soul searching, he decided it might be time for him to direct more of his energy towards other pursuits that don't involve dieting for a bodybuilding contest. There is more to life than sets, reps, and contest placings. And I think we're entering into a new era now where we're going to start seeing more and more athletes 
call it a wrap early to experience things beyond our little corner of the world. So if Rob really is calling it quits, we should all wish him well because the ride was fun while it lasted. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Yeah.